rounding out our uh, roundtable is Bob Davis, who is a native Tucsonan and a proud graduate of the U of A. And speaking of the uh, U of A, he's done a ton of transactions with them, including the acquisition of the U of A Science and Technology Park, the U of A Mars Phoenix uh, Mission Headquarters, Biosphere 2, the U of A Phoenix Biomedical Park, and the uh, U of A Bio 5 Oro Valley uh, project. But that's not his only client. He's represented IBM and Hughes Missile Systems in the past, now Raytheon, Target, and Microsoft, just to name a few. So Bob's now currently a Vice President with RNG Commercial Real Estate. Please welcome Bob Davis. Thank you. Is uh, Trace asked a question? I was going to, how many were at the CCIM last week? And most people were, so I don't have anything to say today. <laughs> but I actually would uh, repeat uh, Peter's excellent re uh, presentation last week. In industrial real estate, uh, you know, the basic metrics are 10 to 11 percent of vacancy, and uh, rents continue to just kind of uh, hover, if not go down, over the last several years. We don't see any major. Um, major opportunities on the horizon that are going to change things, except maybe if we get behind uh, Walter's uh, projects in Wymus and hope that we can get a little bit more than just uh, secondary indirect uh, participation from uh, workers. I think um, there's, hopefully we will not miss out on our logistics opportunities. Um, we, I think in uh, Tucson, unfortunately, we're just a tertiary town. I'd like to be more bullish, but I'm not. And uh, we have, our identity is one of our biggest problems. Are we a tourist town? Is our industry segment uh, logistics? Is it aerospace in defense? Is it biotechnology? We still haven't all come to a consensus or a conclusion on what we can do together to, um, you know, strengthen the industrial part of our economy, which is usually the basis of most uh, vibrant economies in, in cities across our country. Nancy McClure mentioned uh, most of the deals in retail are bigger than the deals in industrial. so. The you know when you have, uh, you can't get a 40,000 square foot industrial deal done, but there's plenty of 40,000 square foot uh, retail deals, you know what kind of community we have. We are not based on, we are not an industrial uh, community and that's unfortunate. I think the, uh, I'm jumping all over the place, I realize that it's, it helps to be ADD. And, uh, but I think one of the things that we can get behind that is a little bit different is that there is a burgeoning startup community here. And unless we figure it out that we've I, I love Peter Douglas, believe me, but just wearing cowboy boots and cowboy hats ain't gonna get it done here. Um, we need to get behind our entrepreneurial community. Two of the most successful, three of the most successful names here all started locally. Burr Brown, which is now Texas Instruments, Ventana Medical Systems, Sanofi, which started as Selectide, are all local companies. We need to build and get behind local companies that are creating no, new knowledge and new products. In the entrepreneurship and startup communities, are, Tucson is becoming a very, very, very active place. So I urge you all to maybe get involved and also tell the people that uh, you vote for to get behind things that are going to grow uh, local com companies so that we can have a stronger industrial market ins that, that, that raises all the other markets instead of the other way around. Thank you very much. Have a great day.